You know, certain campaigns become player favorites for a whole multitude of reasons. Sometimes, the fundamental layout of the map is so good, no zombie who walk on it may ever succeed. Sometimes, it is greeted by an update of massive balance changes that instantly hooks everyone who wants to rank up. Sometimes, the reward and speed of each round lead even jaded sweats to vote for it. And well, sometimes, it's just good. But occasionally, a campaign will be able to do all of these things simultaneously, and it's just glorious to see. You know it's bad for you, but you can't help but play, and so it is with Blackfield Station. If you have played R2DA for any length of time, or have watched my guide on ranking up fast, you would know Blackfield is great for grinding, and as a result, has become a gathering place for fat noobs whose only purpose in life is to spawn camp and would die from taking two steps on any other map. It has become my solemn duty to encourage these morbidly lazy plebs to grow a pair of male reproductive sacks and venture out into a map that does not start with a second letter of the alphabet. My favorite part of Blackfield must be this hallway of death. Jump here and kill everyone on the roof. At the end of the halls, there's always a bunch of noobs just there, AFK. Easy kills. And there's usually this unfortunate soul who comes in here to reload and gets a carrot in his face. Of course, you can also go in from this angle. Under heavy gunfire, me as a brute, I can just go in this little truck. Because the noobs have the memory of goldfish, after 3 seconds I can just walk out. All of them forgot about- wow, that guy using a sleigh to get across? Pretty smart. But the biggest mistake you'll make this round. Same thing, all, everyone on the roof can't just be killed by jumping and smacking. Easy kills. That's like 7 players, 6 or 7 players right here in the past 10 seconds. And now these noobs. Man, I feel bad for slaughtering everyone. I'm pretty sure I single-handedly just killed half the human team. He's gone. And that player on the right, unfortunately, he didn't see my gray skin. And BAM! Of course, Brute isn't the only things players have to worry about. The glass in this crimson hallway is also very deadly. Like these guys, they don't die from me, they just get knocked into glass and get instant killed. Same thing with this guy, very low from getting hit by the glass. And well... There you go, not much they could do. Jump and kill. Now this guy, he is a pretty high prestige player. He didn't even die after 3 shots, he even managed to knock me down, but I got up before him and he's dead. The only thing Blackfield noobs have less than brain power is situation awareness. Like these clowns who get sniped at close range. And this last guy, where does he think the club came from? Well, he got what he deserved. Or these guys, didn't see me? Well, you two died. Don't run that way. Come on, and be careful what's underneath you. And this man, I just casually stroll up behind him and kill him. Come on, I'm not even hiding, I'm in plain sight, how do you guys not see me? Well, if you're blind, you're not gonna make it very far here. Same thing, why are you walking in a straight line when there's a brute standing right over you? I suppose I can't really blame this last guy because his head is stuck in a truck, but dead. On the other hand, we just have plain old noobs like this person who walked right into a brute. I mean, using a stair am, what do they hope to achieve? They can't even scratch me. Well, you might want to sprint. And why are you going in a circle? Look. Sniped. And of course, here's a spawn camping noob. Except I spawn as a brute, so you're dead. Not looking where you're going, also dead. And well, when someone's AFK, you know the humans aren't going to make it very far. These cars on Blackfield, they provide good cover for brutes, and players have a hard time seeing me because of it. This guy who knocks himself down, well, he deserves death. This man who doesn't see me through a car, well, too bad. Smacked. And, okay, well you didn't die, you're high prestige, but same thing, dead. Be careful of your surroundings, I just hopped on this guy. And there was nothing he could even do. And this man thinks I'm part of the fence or something. Got what he deserved. The last thing I have to say about Blackfield is this death cabin, also known as the radio house. Not seeing who's coming inside while well, you just got cornered. Gotta say, minigun is still quite effective against brutes, especially explosive ammo, but when you're maxed out with this much stamina, you can survive it pretty easily. And well, don't go inside when there's a brute! Be careful your surroundings. Be careful your surroundings. Don't. Don't spawn camp a brute. Why are you going inside? Do you not see me? And you're dead. Yep. Also, come on. Don't walk in a straight line. 
got launched. Smacked. And dead. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these videos. Until next time, peace.